What's going on, Catterman and Catterwomen? Welcome back to the Catterman Adventures. I am now on my Panasonic G85. It's a Lumix. It's an amazing mirrorless camera. And I got myself it for Christmas. I got a bunch of other goodies for Christmas too. I have to show you guys later. But tonight, right now, it is currently. I'm like checking myself out over here in the viewfinder. Damn, I look good. <laughs> It is currently 9.32. It's going to take us about two and a half hours to get to D.C. So I think we should get this train rolling. We're going to go on a blue catfishing adventure tonight. All right, well, it looks like I got everything. Now we just got to grab the shoes. I'm going to get my shoes on. We'll get right to the action in a moment. Today we're going to do something completely different. We've talked about flathead catfish, we've talked about blue catfish, we've talked about channel catfish, but we've yet to really deeply talk about gear. Now, you can use the Rover round reels like I use for catfish, you can use the Sharky 3 bait feeder spinning reels or the Pontus bait feeder spinning reels, but you can also very effectively use regular spinning reels for catfishing. And especially if you're using circle hooks, which set themselves. You don't often even need a bait clicker. You just set the rod down, get it into a good spot, and the catfish can just pick it up, grab it, and take it. Let's take a look at what we're using today in the beautiful capital. I want to see if the special spinning reel of 2018 can outcompete the Rover and the Pontus bait feeder. Mm. Now that is something, eh? So this is about the 5,000 size. And I put about almost 200 yards of 40 pound braid on this. Let me go grab the bait that's right underneath you guys in the bucket. And we're gonna start fishing here in the capital for blue catfish. And we're gonna see how many blue catfish in pounds we can pull up with the new Sharky 3. Now there are some competitors. We also have the Rovers and the Pontus bait feeder. So there's a little competition here in the air. We're gonna see, can the Sharky 3 beast out the other reels? And we're also gonna talk a little more about the Sharky 3 while we're having some fun here catching catfish, which is one of the most awesome species of fish you can still actively target in the fall time. Tonight, it is 26 degrees. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cold out. <laughs> well, I think I'm all snugged up here with this sweet Cappy right here, you know, I got my glass and fish mask on. And uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna do it big. Let's see how we do. Well, as I'm sure you guys can remember, the best bait around this time of the year is good old gizzard shed. Yeah. Well, I gotta tell you something. Um, this is not good. This gizzard shed's already falling apart in my hands. So that means it, it probably did get frozen overnight and the consistency of the bait has been altered. Not completely ruined, but altered. So we're just gonna have to deal with that. How we deal with that. We should still catch some fish though, so it should be okay. Put this nice, perfect sliver right here on the Sharky 3. Cool thing about the Sharky 3 too is that it's actually saltwater approved. So yeah, you can use it in salt water. It's got the KISS Casking water resistance mechanism. So it's very resistant to debris and water slipping in. And I think there's actually a certain time limit for how long it can be underwater without actually taking on water, which is pretty cool. And of course, before every fishing session starts, even though the baits have already been thrown out, time to do a lucky catfish call. <laughs> Stop playing with them, fool.
What I'm thinking is last time I was at the tidal basin, it was beautiful, gorgeous, and a great spot to fish. And I caught a bunch of fish there at nighttime. So right now the rover is at about 3.5 pounds. We're going to go with figurative. I'm pretty good at like figuring out the weight of a fish just by looking at it though. So we'll say about 3.5 pounds on the rover. Sharky 3 spinning reel. Had a bite in the beginning. Didn't completely succeed. But the casting distance was ridiculous. That could put this reel over the edge because if we can cast out to almost the middle of the tidal basin, that's where a lot of the big blue cats hang out at. Well, we don't want to waste any time. It's about 3.30 in the morning right now. I am zonked up on some coffee ready to fish all night long and bring you some sweet footage. So let's go to the tidal basin. Let's catch some fish there. All I can say is wow guys, I just came to the tidal basin, wasn't even able to throw all my baits out before two rods already went down. Sadly enough, they didn't set the hook on the fish, but they went down. Wow, that's crazy. We've got, oh, there we go guys. Yep, that's a fish. No, he came off. That was a nicer size blue. Oh man, did you see that? <laughs> wow guys, there's a ton of them around here right now. Oh, we are hooked up guys on the rover i don't think this is a gigantic blue but he's swimming right in towards us i just heard the clicker go right near that goose i was like damn here comes a fish Woo. very nice all right guys there goes one we got three. Oh no oh my god we got all the rods going off oh this one over here too oh this one feels way better Okay, we got one back there, guys. We got one over here, too. This is pretty crazy. And we got one over here on the, on the Pontus, too. The only one that's actually not getting love right now is the Sharky 3. Let's pull him to the side over here. That's a nicer size blue right there. That's a 20-pounder. Okay, both the Rovers just got some love. All right, wet our hands first. Well, guys, there's a beautiful blue catfish on the cast king rover gonna let him go let's grab the other one Woo. oh man guys another beautiful blue catfish in the tidal basin in the winter time don't you just love it let's let this one go too Woo. that's some quick action now i need to change out of the camera battery because you guys are pretty low over there Oh, we got another fish. Oh, man. We're hooked up, guys. This feels like a nice fish. Oh, my God. Guys, this is a really nice fish. Oh, and we're getting more bites. <laughs> this thing is pulling drag over here. That was really quick, too. That bait was out there for maybe like five minutes. That's a big tail. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is a big tail. Come on, bud. Come here. Up you come. Oh, another beautiful blue catfish. You just can't beat this, you know what I mean? Hundreds of pounds of fish in an evening in front of the Washington Memorial. This is what it's all about, guys. Casking keeps fishing fun. Let's let this buddy go. Good release. Now we gotta talk about these totals because the Sharky 3 has still not been touched yet. Es una grande problema, mi amigos. Well, this entire time we've been using gizzard shad, let's try a white perch and see if maybe that brings out the big fish. From my own experience and that of others, white perch usually has caught the personal best for people in the Potomac. So there's something, something juicy about white perch. I don't know exactly what it is, but there's something juicy about it. Let's test the theory and see. Will white perch bring bigger fish? He's a jumper. Oh man. This, this is a nice size fish, guys. I need to have to get the net for this one. So that's a pond. So every single rod over here got love except for the sharky three. That's a nice and blue right there. Come here. Into the net. There we go. 
Oh, guys. Now, that is a class act blue catfish. <laughs> Perfect. Hook set to right in the corner of the mouth. Look at that. Oh, man, guys. This is a big old blue cat. It is about 26 degrees right now. It is very cold. It's not everything, you know. I'm trying to stay professional here, but you know, I got to tell you the reality. It's it's pretty bad. It's pretty tough out here. The net is completely frozen on the sideline, so it's uh, it's basically out of commission right now. We're gonna try it for another about 20 minutes, but around 6:50, we gotta head out because they're gonna start checking parking over here at seven. So then we're gonna go back to the deep hole. Once the sunlight comes up, we're gonna stay a couple more hours. Try it there. That's the plan right now. Let's see if maybe we can pull in at least a 35 or 40 pound blue. Because I think the Sharky 3, I've got this, this gut feeling that it's going to get a really big fish when it does. Alright, well we're getting close to crunch time right now. So I'm already going to start packing some things up over here. Getting it ready so that we can right or remove spots. And get on down to the deep hole as the sun comes up. It's going to be a beautiful sunrise. We're going to get to experience together. Experience, yes. Experience together. As you can tell... My spirit is strong, my brain is mushy, and it is frigid. 6.45 has arrived in the morning. It's time to move. It's low tide. We haven't gotten any more nibbles or bites. This probably means that the fish have moved to the deeper portions of the river, and that's where we're gonna target the big boys now.